I now have the pleasure inviting His Excellency Andrzej Duda, President of the Republic of Poland, to make a keynote statement. Distinguished President of General Assembly, distinguished Under Secretary General, Excellences, distinguished participants. Our world is facing multiple global crises that have significant impact on infrastructure systems. Every country has experienced disruptions resulting from pandemics wars and conflicts, climate change, and natural disasters. Disruptive supply chains, blocked transport routes, energy insecurity, and a lack of secure telecommunication are impacting societies and economies around the world. I firmly believe that many of these challenges can be faced and reduced by building regional infrastructure connections. It is a key instrument for building resilience, which is a task of paramount importance for the global development. Our goal should be to prevent crises, react to them. Excellences. I'm very proud that Poland initiated and led negotiations on the General Assembly Resolution Building Global Resilience and Promoting Sustainable Development Through Regional and Interregional Infrastructure Connectivity. This joint cross-regional initiative of Poland, Bulgaria, Croatia, El Salvador, Estonia, Hungary, Japan, Latvia, Lithuania and Romania was co-sponsored by over 80 countries representing all regions. Adopted by the General Assembly by consensus, it gave rise to today's meeting. The resolution sends a very strong signal to the whole UN system and the private sector that investing in high quality reliable, sustainable, and resilient infrastructure is a universal global priority. More importantly, it's a proof of our strong commitment towards sustainable development and the dialogue with the global South countries. I would like to personally thank the President of the General Assembly for organizing this debate as part of the first ever Sustainability Week at United Nations headquarters in New York. This is a meaningful opportunity for the global community to showcase best practices and strategies to strengthen cooperation and partnerships within and between regions in infrastructure development. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished participants, Although crises and challenges exist around the world, each region is affected differently and, in response, develops context-specific approaches. Poland initiated this resolution inspired by a specific regional example, which is the Three Seas Initiative, a format developed since 2015 by European countries located between the Baltic Black and Adriatic Seas. Over the last 90 year, nine years, the Three Seas Initiative has become a fundamental platform of regional efforts aimed at boosting connectivity in our part of Europe. Our joint actions have contributed to the security and economic prosperity of the European Union mainly through various infrastructure projects and improved regional collections. Members of the Three Seas Initiative have been among the most rapidly developing in the EU. 
We are the engine of the European economy and an excellent investment location in current unstable times. Central and Eastern Europe has been hit particularly hard by the Russian aggression against Ukraine. It was the three seas infrastructure that made it possible for us to do away with Russian energy sources. The enhanced regional connectivity helped us avert the worst consequences of this war. We believe infrastructure is the backbone of any society and economy and is absolutely essential to providing life-saving support. The demand for infrastructure investment is global, with the greatest needs typically occurring in low-income countries. Filling the gap in infrastructure financing requires public and private funds accompanied by technical cooperation, skills development, and capacity building, especially for developing countries. Let me assure you that Poland and the entire European Union is committed to strengthen our infrastructure partnerships with you through the, global, through the EU Global Gateway, an infrastructure investment initiative worth 300 billion euro. Excellent. More infrastructure is being the world today than ever before in history. Let us take this opportunity to prioritize infrastructure development as a way to respond to the crisis, prepare for the future, and build critical resilience. As the United Nations system is preparing for the third UN conference on Lockland developing countries, the fourth conference on small islands developing states and the summit for the future is crucial that we all make greater efforts to that aim. I'm convinced that infrastructure connectivity will make societies and economies more resilient and enable a just transition that leaves no one behind. Thank you for your attention. I should like to thank the distinguished President of the Republic of Poland.